Assistant lawmakers are enthusiastic to receive the 2020 appropriation bill with a review of the 2019 budget performance. Recently, you forwarded to the House the 2020 to 2022 multi year budget framework, MYDF, and the medium term expenditure framework, MTEF, document in line with the Fiscal Responsibility Law 2011. Your wise decision to quickly follow it up with the presentation of the 2020 State of the Economy Address, and which is in tandem with the legislative agenda of the Seventh Assembly, shows the extent of synergy between the State Executive and the Legislature in working for the good of our people. By presenting the budget in September, which is a fit in the annals of budget presentation in Nigeria, you have provided the House ample time for total budget scrutiny and we can safely assure Ndia Nambra that the 2020 budget will hit the ground running by first day of January 2020. And now I have the pleasure to invite the People's Governor, Chief Willie Padawajuku Ojano, to present the State of the Economy Address. Before you today to present my administration's draft estimate and roadmap to 2020 fiscal year. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Lawmakers, two years into my second term in office, my, my team and I have kept a steady pace on our clearly defined vision and mission statement. Our mission remains to make the Anambra State the first choice investment destination and a hub for economic and commercial activity. While our mission is to create a socially stable business friendly environment where indigenous and non indigenous alike will have opportunity for wealth creation. The theme of this body is accelerating the industrial development and youth entrepreneurship. It is intended to consolidate the achievements of the 2019 body, which came with the theme economic diversification, job creation, and value for money. In the past fiscal year, the operating environment has presented the stiffest challenges in recent national memory. Health spent farmers clashes, widespread kidnappings and general insecurity, heavy flooding of coastal communities, and increasing boldness of ethnic militia groups and agitators have created a fear of unknown and adversely affected investor confidence in the national economy. In spite of that style, the economy has recorded GDP growth rates of minus 1.5% in 2016, 0.8% in 2017, 1.89% in 2018, and 2.01% in the first quarter of 2019. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Lawmakers, over this same period, we have made great efforts to grow the economy of Anambra State, curb insecurity, and preserve our reputation as Nigeria's safest state. Consequently, we have grown our GDP from 3.8 trillion in 2016 to 4 trillion naira in 2017 at a rate of 5.73%. We have retained our position as the fourth largest economy in Nigeria. Our target is to leapfrog to number one. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Lawmakers, 2019 has been the most remarkable fiscal year. My team and I presented a budget titled Economic Diversification, Job Creation, and Value for Money to this, to this State Assembly. Our target was a further distillation of my economic blueprint through a robust infrastructural development. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Lawmakers, the results of our efforts to implement that budget are visible today in the creative economy, agriculture, technology, tourism, and other sectors. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Lawmakers, our audited financial year account as of June 30, 2019, are as follows. Recurrent expenditure. Budget was uh, 32.6 billion, actual 27.1 billion. 
making a performance of 83%. Capital expenditure, budget 45.9 billion. Actual 40.2 billion, making a 7% performance. Out of the recurrent and capital, it is 17.5 billion, budget 67.3, making it the cumulative average balance of, uh, sorry, percentage of 85%. The above table shows that we have achieved a recurrent half year budget performance rate of approximately 83%, while our capital expenditure half year budget performance stood at approximately 87.6%. This led to an aggregate half-year budget performance of 87.7%. However, I expect our overall budget performance to improve to approximately 90% by the end of the current fiscal year. Mr. Speaker, Honorable lawmakers, we have recorded impressive results in the 20, uh, in the 20 million Choose Your Project initiative. Many communities have completed the projects they chose in the first and second phases, and uh, they are now on the third phase. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Lawmakers, our budget performance at mid-2019 stands at 43%. However, we expect overall budget performance of over 85% at the end of the fiscal year. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Lawmakers, I am delighted to announce that we have opened a 53 M3 Berawa oxygen plant at Chukwebeka or the Bebu, or Chukwu University in Hospital. This is the biggest oxygen plant built by any state government in the Federation. We have also established the Anambra State Health Insurance Scheme, Ashina, which is ranked fourth in the country. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Lawmakers, the Project Management and Monitoring Office of the, of the government saved the state over 1.2 billion through effective project claims and value for money approaches. Mr. Speaker, we have pushed our IGR from a monthly figure of 1 billion to 1.7 billion in 2019. We have increased our taxpayers' database by enforcing mandatory registration of Anambra Socials service uh, identification dancing. The enumeration is now done sector by sector. Mr. Speaker, honorable lawmakers, we have sustained the revolution in the agricultural sector and become an important player in the agricultural business in Nigeria. We have taken rice production from 80,000 metric tons to 345,280 metric tons as at 2018. We've also gone into serious cassava production uh, with both Excel farms, Atomo, and Chelsea farms at Enugu Aguilary. Chelsea farms with over 10,000 hectares of land is the largest cassava farm in the southeast of Nigeria. We are also doing well in the export of farm produce. At the moment, Graphic Nigeria Limited has opened a profitable export window in the United States of America, while other exporters like Tiger Foods are making inroads in the regional markets of West Africa and beyond. We are also doing well in the area of animal husbandry. Linden Integrated Poultry Farm has completed its second phase of expansion with a facility that currently holds uh, additional 90,000 birds, while Eagle Farms, owned by Ugochukwa Baleke, has set a phenomenal precedent with the rearing of Efibu in the commercial point of view. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, Honorable House lawmakers, we have effectively positioned our dear state on the agricultural map. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, Honorable lawmakers, our investment in education is in three key areas, infrastructure, teachers' welfare, and students' welfare. Our aim is to give a globally competitive education to our children. In the area, in the area of infrastructure, we are building 700 capacity hostels in 12 technical colleges, and 1,500 capacity hostels at Frederick Joseph and Rice Secondary School at Blair. We are also 
also constructed 10 classroom blocks in five technical colleges, namely Umoju, Umoze, Bo, Uleri, and Osamala. The teachers' welfare, we have trained our teachers in ICT in a partnership with Google. We have also held a special training for teachers of mathematics, science, literature, in English, history, and French. Mr. Speaker, Honorable lawmakers, though the enterprise Sport, through this enterprise Sport business agency, ASBA, we have funded more than 10,000 businesses and created over 70,000 direct and indirect jobs. ASBA has also commenced the construction of an industrial cluster for textile garments, which shall be completed in December 2019. Mr. Speaker, Honorable lawmakers, it may interest you to know that Anambra State won the prestigious national award as the best state that supports micro, small, and medium enterprises, MSME, in Nigeria, at the second edition of the National MSME Award held in Asoro recently. This administration has brought some improvement in power supply to the Anambra. The Light of Anambra campaign has changed our landscape and created a 24 hour lifestyle in Oka and environs. And from Ojiriba in Enugu State, we have drawn a 33 kV line to supply power to Oruga North and South. We also installed another 33 kV line from Awada through Idemili Lewi to improve power supply in 43 communities. We distributed 400 transformers to all communities in Anambra State and installed additional. At the 3 kV line from Obodi in Oruba North to St. Peter's in Agwata. This is an assumption of the draft financial year 2020 budget estimate. We adopted the following macroeconomic assumptions for budget estimates. A crude oil bench price of $55 a barrel and an average daily production of 2.2 million barrels uh, per day, in line with the federal government's uh, MTEL. Translated to projected annual fact of 43.7 billion as against 2018 figure of 40 billion. Budget tax revenue projection is paid at uh, 15.5 billion annually which is for 6% increase from the 2019 figure of uh, 10.6 billion. Internal general revenue are projected at uh, 2.5 billion monthly, compared with the current uh, actual run rate of uh, 1.43 billion monthly, or 17.8 billion annually. We plan to achieve this by optimizing our IGR windows through continuous enumeration and automation, as well as strengthening our enforcement initiatives in the state and sustaining the growth of our tax database. Capital receipts, including grants, counterpart funds, aid, and concessional refunding, are estimated at 30 billion. We expect to receive 10 billion as reimbursements from the federal government for works done on federal roads out of the amount owed the state. Personnel costs are estimated at 1.9 billion monthly, or 22.82 billion for the year. This figure will ensure that new hires are accommodated into the civil service, uh, including the replacement of retire, retired teachers, promotions and appointments, and the projected salary increase when the minimum crop wage law is implemented. Total overheads are estimated at 1.8 billion monthly, or 22.3 billion for the year, as against 25.1 billion for 2019. While social benefits and contributions, including pensions, gratuities, group life insurance, are projected at 9.34 billion for the year. The reduction in overhead expenditure is as a result of various strategic initiatives adopted through the third, the newly created efficiency unit under the governor's office. 
We have provided $60 billion for domestic debt required financing. This uh, comprises of single-digit concessionary program lending for the interventions in agriculture, industrialization, trade and commerce, and youth empowerment. Financial year 2020 budget and more. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, for the 2020 fiscal year, we are proposing a budget size of 137.1 billion. This budget is based on realistic projections of all sources of revenue, both external and internal, taking into consideration the state's revenue and expenditure drive. While recurrent expenditure is projected to go up 43% of the total budget, translating to 58.69 billion. The remaining 57% will translate to 78.3 billion is for capital expenditure. This is expected to drive the 2020 budget team off, accelerating industrial development and youth entrepreneurship. We hope that the budget allocation will facilitate the intended improvement in infrastructure in Anambra State. This budget plans to sustain our past performance and ensure that Anambra State continues to maintain its status as a hub for business and a destination for new investment. Highlights of our sectoral capital plan. Roadworks and infrastructure. Roads and bridges remain a major focus area for this administration. It is therefore estimated that out of the total sum of 22.2 billion, the amount for roads and bridges, 15 billion will be spent on the construction of new roads as well as the rehabilitation of existing ones. We plan to complete over 160 ongoing road projects in the three senatorial zones of the state, as well as construct more roads to open access to more agricultural communities and boost food production in the state. Meanwhile, a commitment fund of uh, six billion has been allocated to the Anambra International Cargo Airport. The Anambra Road Maintenance Agency, AMA, will be funded to the tune of 1.1 billion for effective road rehabilitation and maintenance in the state. Agriculture and related sectors. In agriculture, we intend to maintain the achievements made over the past six years. We have a plan to establish cluster farms in the three senatorial zones of the state, operating crop advantage bases, so as to cater and empower the youth and women under the commercial agriculture credit scheme and the accelerated agriculture development scheme, uh, loan schemes of the Central Bank of Nigeria. For this project, we are targeting uh, aquaculture, livestock, maize, oil palm production, etc. Additionally, we are going to organize an appropriate Ep expo to stimulate the development of honeybee farming as a youth empowerment program. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Lawmakers, we plan to partner with Homo Group to cultivate 200 hectares of sweet potatoes to feed a huge processing plant for noodles, flour, and cereals coming up at Kumawuru. This administration understands the importance of engaging youth in agriculture, which is why we intend to partner with Nam Jazikui University to establish a student cluster farm on their permanent site at Ifiteoka, and also to do the same for Tukuemeka of the Mekodiku University at Ibaria. Furthermore, we are going to develop a policy on the ranching of Efibu and partner with investors to develop this sector. <coughs> we are also supporting the sector with additional tractors to increase their availability to farmers. A significant amount has been the amount for the procurement of agro inputs and fertilizers as support to our farmers to help increase farm yield. To decrease to decrease post-harvest losses, our administration will procure a number of technological machines and equipment to help farmers, including oil processing machines, rice processing, rice dryers, parabolas, 
rice sweepers and cassava processing mill. Our collaboration with the development partners, Central Bank of Nigeria, Odama, IFA, RAP, to support increased farming activities and access to the farmlands will continue, and it is hoped that uh, 3.4 billion allocated to this sector will ensure that uh, our programs and policies are effectively implemented. Finally, we have set aside a considerable sum to continue the youth empowerment scheme for fish farming, animal husbandry, crop production, which will enable the state to increase output in these areas. Education. To sustain a global competitive education, we must ensure adequate funding for the educational sector. To this effect, we have made projections of a total capital expenditure of 8.3 billion for education across the following area. 1 billion for the World Bank Assisted State Education Program and Invention Project, SEBI. 1.44 billion for special projects in secondary schools. And the emergency fund of 1.4 billion is allocated to an Amherst Universal Basic Education Board. While 2.4 billion has been allocated to infrastructure and capacity improvement in state owned universities and colleges and polytechnics in the state. Environment. A clean and healthy environment is uh, a determinant of uh, healthy living. That is why our administration has allotted 2.9 billion to the environment sector. From this sum, 1.02 billion has been set aside for the establishment of waste management facilities and a fraction of the budget for the uh, procurement of garbage moving equipment as well as the establishment and upgrading of existing leisure paths and gardens. Youth empowerment and creative economy. In the 2020 fiscal year, youth empowerment will be a key focus of my administration as can be deduced from the team of this year's budget. This is aimed at increasing job opportunities for our teaming youths, thereby ensuring the socio-economic growth of the state. The key to achieving this is the Youth Entrepreneurship and Empowerment Program, to which we have allocated 250 million to empower youths through vocational agriculture and uh, artisan uh, training programs as well as 265 million for the establishment of creative centers, innovation hubs, uh, and ICT-related projects. The sum of 250 uh, million has been earmarked for the establishment of a field village to facilitate job creation in the creative sector, and uh, 1 billion for the development of the sports stadium in Oka. We also allotted 500 million for the construction of the International Conference Center. Okay. Now, this administration agrees with the magazine that health is wealth. That is why we have set aside the sum of 6.9 billion budgeted for the sector to continue the implementation of the strategic initiatives that will improve the quality of healthcare delivery in the Anambra. For this sum, a total of 495 million have been added to the Anambra State Health Insurance Agency ASHA to boost adequate implementation of the program statewide, particularly providing health cover for the less privileged and most vulnerable. We have the amount an extra 816 million for the construction of it and the equipment, equipment of Anambra State University uh, Teaching Hospital an additional 400 million for the rehabilitation and the re-equipment of general hospitals. Mr. Speaker and House, Honorable House, Honorable Lawmakers, we have set aside the sum of 1.6 billion for the construction of additional health facilities in the three natural zones, and we plan to construct three micro-trauma hospitals. Starting off with the sum of 450 million. We have also provided for the construction of a 100 bed capacity comprehensive cancer center with state of the art facilities to help reduce the number of cancer cases, death, and also to improve the, the quality of life of cancer patients. 
a functional pre-hospital emergency care system will be established uh, as well as production of smart drugs and other essential medical sources to improve healthcare delivery in the Anambra State. Small and medium enterprise development. We have allocated the sum of 1.1 billion to micro, small and medium enterprise uh, fund programs to be implemented through the Anambra State Small Business Agency for 2020 year. This is to help sustain the success of uh, 2018 and 2019, where over 10,000 direct and indirect jobs were created. Funds have been earmarked to continue the development of a modern, all-inclusive SME industrial park in the state. Water resources and public utilities. You will agree with me that there has been incredible improvement in security aided by the Light Up and Abra program and other rural and uh, urban identification schemes. <laughs> to sustain that, we have the amount of an additional budget of 3.175 billion. We have set aside some of 50 million for the new Onitra Greater Water Scheme, where we also plan to continue to invest in the development of uh, the Greater Oka Water Development Scheme, as well as the Newi Water Development Scheme. The Rural Water Rehabilitation Scheme across the state will continue to receive a great amount of allocation to ensure availability of clean portable water and increased sanitary conditions in our rural areas. To implement these and more, and more we have allocated a sum of 4.6 billion to this set. Community Social Program Development. We have succeeded in increasing economic activities across states as well as uh, creating employment for the youth and the uh, unemployed through the 20 million Choose Your Project community, the community, which has uh, continued to produce incredible results in all the 181 communities in the state. We have allocated 2.6 billion to the next phase of the community development project. The Community Social Development Agency, CSDA, will support the World Bank, has also kicked off uh, with full force and has already started delivering results in our community through the provision of infrastructure development across poor and uh, vulnerable communities. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Mordekas, this budget seeks to accelerate infrastructural development in Anambra State. It is therefore my hope that it will be given a swift consideration and passage to ensure the sustained and steady advancement of our dear state. Thank you. God bless Nigeria. God bless Anambra State. Thank you.
you know, by, by giving us a little bit here in the box with proper scrutiny and defect. If there is anything that you will leave from this hallowed agreement chamber, it should be that if you're coming for the budget defense, ask yourself, if you forget, tell your husband or wife or your son, where is my budget implementation plan? Where is my budget quarterly plan? Because this is that too that every relevant committee that you are here before will use to assess you and see to it how we can key in into the strategy of His Excellency and the team of having a realistic project and of course, in an Android State event. Mr. Speaker, may God bless an Android State and may God bless the Republic of Nigeria. Thank you for the opportunity.